Good evening, everybody. How are you? My name is James Ringrose. I'm the CEO of Real Cool TV, a marketing communications and technology company. I speak in English. Unfortunately, if you need subtitles, just raise your hand. It's a bit, it's a bit unfortunate. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about what we do. We're, we're a marketing communications company that help people tell their story by video. I learned you have to speak really fast if you want to go as fast as him. That's where I got this from. And we're, we're a startup. We've been going for about six months. We have about 60 customers, corporate customers. And we cut video number 287 this week, so we've grown fairly fast. And we are, we are dealing with a demand for video communications to help people tell their stories to um, a, a wide audience using social media. So our view of where uh, social media is and where things are really rotates around three things. We see three phases in technology development. The first one is, look, ma, no hands. And what that's about is, I went to the airport the day the iPad came out, the day the iPad came out. And there was a nice fella standing holding an iPad, and I went over to him and said, could you show me that? And he did, and about six of us stood around in a circle and watched him doing stuff on the iPad. It was like magic. So the look, ma, no hands stage is when a technology first starts, and it looks like magic to everybody. Then the second stage is the serious plumbing stage, which is what we're all involved in, which is the point at which the technology begins to garner software, other technologies, and things that help that technology move forward. At the same time, a new thing pops up, the domain expertise, domain experts. So that's ushered in the era of the social media expert. Raise a hand here, anybody who's a social media expert. I found one. I can answer that. <laughs> they do exist. The, the third stage is the critical stage for anything. It doesn't matter whether you love Twitter or Facebook or whatever you love. It's the content stage, which is where we work. The content stage is about the point when if you don't have content to drive the technology forward, it will fail. If you think about something like Photoshop, one of the most successful applications on the planet, that's here because hundreds and hundreds of millions of, of images are manipulated in Photoshop every day. That horrible thing, Word, which I happen to hate, wouldn't be here, it would be a dinosaur if there weren't billions of documents in Word. The content keeps that stuff moving forward. If you think about the graveyards of technology, you'll know that in the graveyard is the VCR. Anybody remember those? The A-Track Stereo? Anybody remember this? Must be somebody here. Hey, look at him, man. <laughs> the A-Track Stereo. Those things didn't die out because the technology was completely worn out. It died out because the content started to move somewhere else. If you think about analog TV, analog TV would still have people watching it if the content was there. It isn't there anymore. It's gone away. So this content stage is something that businesses are just beginning to understand, and they're moving towards. Now, most businesses have been in the, the, the marketing equivalent of a nuclear winter for the last two years. The recession has caused them not to think a lot about this stuff, and social media has kind of come along and got there, and most big businesses do not understand social media and how it works. So as they turn to social media, they're looking for companies like my company to help them tell their story by leveraging social media. And we use video as our uh, platform of choice to do, to do that storytelling. We could use holograms, but they're not around yet, so we use video. And let me give you an example why video is so important, why it's so powerful. If you want to tell a complicated story, there's nothing better than video to do that. If you go home tonight, and you step out on your back deck, and there's a small Martian spaceship, about three feet in circumference, with little people running around and flashing lights on top, and you decide, after you called your mum and told her, that you want to tell the world about this thing. You could get your iPhone out and Twitter something. You could Twitter, there's a Martian spaceship on my back deck. He just did. Martian spaceship. And nobody would believe you. I think you were nuts, right? So you could maybe say, well, right, words I'm going to do it, so I'll take a picture. Get your iPhone out again, the iPhone 4. Just take pictures. And you take a picture and you, and you send that out. And people are not going to believe you. It looks like a three-foot flying saucer on your back deck. But if you get out your camera and you shoot an HD video with an interview of the Martian captain, then, and you put that as a link on Twitter, people will look at that and believe it. People want to see with their own eyes what you're talking about, and video is the best way of communicating very complicated ideas. So we sit down with companies and we talk to them about how to leverage video. We do three things. We help them develop a marketing message, we help them film great video, and then we help them leverage that video using social media. And as soon as a company works out that they can use Twitter as metadata that points to something, their website as a platform for video, and they can use social media to get great ROI on their projects, they fall in love with video, and you should come and talk to us about how we can make one for you. And I'm done. Thank you. Thank you.